the matter before this house is so important that Mr. Speaker, for the first time in my lifetime as a legislator in this house, a private member's bill attracted over 200 memorandum. 200. The bill was so attacked that it got to a stage I got scared. I thought that it would see the light of day. Mr. Speaker, the matters that the Honorable Minister for Communications rehashed on this floor, he debated them on the committee level. He raised, she raised them. Mr. Speaker, she was defeated. <laughs> All the issues that she raised about the bill. Honorable she Minister, them, and she Honorable was Minister, please. Honorable 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 Minister, please. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker I, I further state that it is also not correct that the bill has been watered down. It is not correct. Honorable, honorable member. It is not correct. Honorable member, I, I decided not to allow anybody to interject you, but on the fact that the chairman of the committee is on the, his feet, uh, I, can't, I can't overlook him. So, Chairman, what, what is the intervention you want? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am not very comfortable that a member of this House should be attacked, especially when we have built consensus on the second reading of this bill. What an honorable member has said, inclusive of other things, has said that there are other unnatural carnal knowledge that people do. For instance, she cited oral sex. She had contributed throughout and she was very instrumental during the consideration of the committee's work. I said I am grateful to all committee members and the proponents of the bill. Let us proceed, Mr. Speaker, and I'll be grateful that members will proceed and make their points without referring to what has happened at a committee meeting. Nothing of this sort has happened. Honorable Minister, please, please, uh, calm down. Honorable Minister, calm down. Calm down. Uh, Honorable Minister, calm down. Yes. Honorable, Honorable, Member. Speaker, yes. You are, you are minded to Speaker. focus on this debate. I don't want focus. Uh, Speaker, I'm guided. I've always been focused, Mr. Speaker. But the impression must not be created that the bill was watered down. Mr. Speaker, what, what the other debaters on this matter fail to address is the issue that it is not mainly about the sexual lifestyles of a man and a woman, or a man and a man, and a woman and a woman. Mr. Speaker, as sponsors of the bill, Mr. Speaker, that's a harsh Mr. Speaker, honorable, honorable member for Temali Central, please kindly withdraw that statement. Honorable member for Temali Central, please. We are carrying all of us together. Please withdraw that statement. No, I overheard you. Honorable Motala, I overheard you. Please just withdraw the statement. Motala. Honorable Motala, Honorable Motala, you are my friend. Please do me that honest. Honorable Motala, Mr. Speaker, yes. If the hands that comes.
And whatever statement you think I said, isn't it? Honorable Otala, I heard it myself. That is why I am. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, at the time, at the time you think I said something, this honorable member also said certain things. What did she say? What did she say? Honorable. Honorable Motala. She said a, she said a match. She said that. Honorable Motala. She said that, Mr. Speaker. You you do your withdrawal. I'll, I'll ah, know. Withdrawal. Ah, withdrawal. Honorable members, are you allowing me to control the house? Honorable Motala. Honorable Motala. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, you just do the honor for me. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Mr. Honorable, Speaker, just do the honor for me. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I will do what you are asking me to do. Yes. But as far as I'm concerned, and the last time I checked, our conduct here is guided by the Constitution and the standing orders of the House. And there is nowhere in the standing orders or the practice of this Parliament that I have seen in my young age in this parliament that a statement that is purportedly made, made not captured in the, in the speaker should, should be a statement of the house Mr. Speaker Mr. Speaker, now if you are asking me to withdraw any statement I, I don't know which statement you are asking me to withdraw I am only withdrawing a statement which perhaps the speaker had me make and I don't know the statement you had me make so I am withdrawing the statement I withdrawing the don't push me to that angle. I overheard you. I'm saying just withdraw for me. Mr. Speaker, 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 Mr. Speaker with all due respect, you cannot ask me to do something and I refuse to do this. Several statements were made which one? by myself and my colleagues, including Honorable Estreus. Which one? So which of the statements yes. are you asking me to withdraw? Zero. So, are you inviting me to say what you, you said? <laughs> Honorable, Honorable Motala, member for Temali Central, I'm saying what you said that Just withdraw from me. Honorable Motala, I'm asking you, I am not going to rehearse the words you say. You know what you said. Please just. Honorable Minority Leadership, I will instruct that you urge your member to withdraw that statement. Mr. Speaker, the statement I. Mr. Speaker, the statement I remember I made. I made several statements. But the statement I remember vividly I made, I said every single member in this house must be allowed to debate on the issue. So we know the position of every single member of this house, those who are for it and those who are against it. I have made that statement. So if that, if that is the statement you are asking me to withdraw, I humbly withdraw that statement. Honorable, Honorable member, you made a specific statement in relation to the minister. Leader, please, urge your member to withdraw that seat. Mr. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable, the Honourable, 
The Honorable Mutala is reported to have made statement. It's Mutala, not Muntaka. Uh, Honorable Mutala Mohammed is reported to have made a statement that is apparently unparliamentary. Mr. Speaker, listening to him, he is of the view that he never spoke to the mic. Mr. Speaker, he, 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 Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, listening to him, listening to him, Mr. Speaker, listening to him also, he has indicated that he made a number of statements not into the mic. And so therefore, Mr. Speaker, Honourable, 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 and so therefore, Mr. Speaker, I want to urge him that since the Speaker may have heard it, whatever he said, even though he did not speak into the mic, he may have heard it, I urge him to withdraw whatever he may have said, that unfortunately, fortunately, uh, uh, you heard it, even though he did not speak to the mic, for him to withdraw it and get it removed. Mr. Speaker, I urge my colleague, the Honorable Mumutala, to accordingly uh, withdraw whatever statement in the interest of progress, in the interest of progress. So, Mr. Speaker, uh, I'm urging him to withdraw whatever statement that he made, even though it did not go into the mic, so that we can make progress. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Mr. Speaker, every single statement I have made, I am withdrawing every single statement. But Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, it is fair that Honorable Eslousu, strangely, if the Honorable finished, Former Minister seated if by her, finished, is not aware okay. she made some statement. If you also, withdraw every statement she made. If you are finished, it's okay. Honorable Minister, can you apologize for the guesses that you made? Mr. Speaker, I sat here and repeatedly heard Honorable Mutala refer to me as a practitioner of LGBT to the hearing of everyone in this house. I, said it. I, had it. I sat here and repeatedly heard him Honorable shout Minister. at the top of his voice Honorable. and refer to me as a practitioner of LGBT. And uh, every single last one of you is behaving as if you didn't hear it. Honorable. And if in response to that I say he is mad. It is only a madman who will, who will refer to his colleague in this house as a practitioner of LGBTQ. When you haven't seen me having sexual intercourse with your wife or your daughter or your mother. Honorable Minister. When you haven't caught me having sexual intercourse with your wife or your daughter or your mother. Honorable you Minister. and refer to me in those terms. In those terms. Honorable Minister. And we call ourselves honorable members of this house. When you all hear it and pretend that suddenly you've lost your sense of hearing. Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister. Honorable Minister, I beg of you, do me that honest. Please. Honorable Minister, I beg of you, just do me that on this, please. Just do me that on this. Mr. Speaker. Yes. 
Yes. Respectfully, I'm not going to all honorable members of parliament, and with respect to the titles that we bear and the constituencies that we represent, if there's any gesture I made which anyone here finds offensive, I withdraw it. However, let us all also be honest Honourable, and admit Honourable that Minister, certain things happen here Honourable which are Minister, wrong. thank you very much. Minister, thank you very much. Honourable members, please, this particular bill is so much interested to almost every Ghanaian. So, let us put ourselves together in this particular bill. I don't, I don't, I don't actually take any delight in these gestures and people also taking insinuation on members. Please, you'll get the opportunity to contribute if the time is allowed. So, Honorable Dafia Mapo, you may conclude the debate. You may conclude the debate. Speaker, thank you. Speaker, may I further anchor my submission with the provision in the Constitution, Article 28, Clause 1, Sub Clause D, which is to the effect that children and young persons receive special protection against exposure to fiscal and moral hazards. Mr. Speaker, the bill of which I am one of the key sponsors. It's a morally of noxious lifestyle checking legislation. Mr. Speaker, the point we are making is that in this chamber, politically speaking, the constitution forbids a member from cross capacity. So, biologically speaking, we don't allow a man to cross capacity to become a woman in this country. We don't allow it. Mr. Speaker, it is merely not about sexual activities of these persons. Mr. Speaker, there is a certain deliberate attempt to force this lifestyle on our children. Our children are being encouraged to accept this lifestyle at very... Mr. Speaker, pursuant to our Contracts Act, you are not eligible to enter into contract until you are age 21 and above, not even 18. And yet, we are allowing these groups to infiltrate into our schools with literature and pollute our children. And people who are sitting and saying that these are human rights, these are not human rights. This is a pollution of the social cultural fabric of this country. So it is not about sex, sex, sex at all. Today, they even have a Bible for gays. Bible. <laughs> they speak, they speak of what they call gender neutral language. Pronouns. They should not be referred to her or she. And people are saying we should accept and absorb this to pollute our cultural values. Mr. Speaker, to get to the Supreme Court, Mr. Speaker, you, tomorrow if you want to be promoted to the Supreme Court, one of the greatest criteria or check checklist is to determine your moral turpitude. Mr. Speaker, if, if, if you are found not to be of certain moral standards, mm -hmm. you will not enter the Supreme Court. So we are bound by law, we are under a duty to protect the sanctity of this country. Who says that in 100 years this law will subsist? It will. In fact, on this law, we are bringing a lot of amendments to fortify the law more. Sure. Let nobody be mistaken that this is an exercise in futility. Mr. Speaker, there are consequences. 
Mr. Speaker, we as sponsors, we have been profiled. Maybe Mr. Antoine hasn't spoken about it. We have been profiled. When you travel, you are taken out of the line and check for nearly an hour or two. Senior doctor.